Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna see how to calculate ages in Postgres. Uh, what I did here now, I created a table, a simple table, username and birthday, and I inserted uh, th uh, you know, uh, three, three records or three rows, and each of these users got a different birthday. Now, let me run that query, and that's it. And now I can just start and select based on that table. So select and then let's go username and birth date and let me just put now xx for age and from oops from um, users data and if I run that query, yep, I got that. Now, how do I calculate ages in, in Postgres? That is very, very simple. Um, you have a function in Postgres called age. And what you supply it with is basically the birth date. Uh, typically, age goes like that. You have uh, some date and uh, initial date. That's the way that function works. So let's say if uh, you have some date like, um, uh, let's say here you would have a date like, uh, I don't know, like for instance, 1980, uh, 06, uh, 17, that would be initial date. And the other date would be, you know, something like, uh, let's say you bought a car at this date and you sold it in 1985, uh, 12 and uh, 05. So, and that that's the way age would, would work. Obviously you would have to cast each as a date. And here the same thing. Uh, date and uh, right so and if I run that I would get that much uh, so I mean I had my car so basically the same it's the same for everybody it's like I had my car for uh, five years and uh, let me expand that uh, for five months and 18 days okay so that's the way you you have you use that function however if you base that function on the current day, then you don't need that that part. Yeah. So let's say we all we all bought the car on the seventeenth of um, uh, of June in nineteen eighty, and we all sold it just today. Then you know the age would be like we had that car for forty years and one month and two days. Right. So that's the way you calculate age. Very simple. Now, uh, how do I base it on the birth date? Well, the same thing here. I just take off that string and put in birth date. And now we have the birth dates of each of these, uh, sorry, the ages of each of these uh, people. And now, obviously, you don't want to have months and days in the age. You need just the years. And the way you do that is basically go extract year from, and then close the paran here. And there we go. We just got the years. And we can test a bit here. Uh, if I go up here and say, you know, update uh, uh, users data. And let's set birth date, uh, birth date is equal to um, 1985, 07. Uh, let's set it to 17, uh, where for that person here, Jane, where uh, username, <coughs> username is 
equal to j. So, and if I, now, now typically, <clears throat> today we have the 19th, and typically that person is now, that person is currently 34 because she was born on the 22nd. Like, uh, today's the 19th, so like in a couple of days, she would be 35. She's not yet 35. But with this birthday, she would be 35. And if I run that, and did I, oh, I just misspelled update. Right, run it again. And did I, oh yeah, semicolon again. Right, and now it should go. Yep, so now you see, because her birthday or, or, or birthdays already passed for this year. It was on the 17th of July. Today we have the 19th. She's 35 already. If I put her on the uh, 18th, which was yesterday, she's still 35. And if I put her on today, now obviously uh, she's still 35 because she just got 35 today. But now, if I go, if I set her birthday for tomorrow, then she's 34. And obviously beyond tomorrow, uh, she's still 34 because her birthday <clears throat> hasn't come up this year yet. So, but that's the way you calculate ages in, um, in Postgres. And like I said, if you have, if you have just, um, if you're basing your ages in this case, we are, if you're basing your ages on the current date, then you just have one parameter. Uh, whereas if you have, if you here in age, sorry. And if you're, if you're basing your age calculations on another date, like not current date, then you'd have to put in a second parameter here, which is basically what we did previously with the, with the core example.